Media focus on Alabama and the state's closing of driver's license offices. 29 counties will be without an office, including all eight counties that are 75% or more black. National criticism has been heavy since Alabama requires photo, photo ID, like a driver's license, in order to vote. And hope springs eternal, right, that Alabama Republicans did not just deliberately zap the ability to get the most common voter ID in all of the blackest counties in that state, right? Hope springs eternal that it wasn't specifically that racist. MSNBC's Rachel Maddow is the latest in the national media to jump on Alabama's closing of driver's license offices and the implication it could have on voting rights since the state requires photo ID at the polls. Soon 29 counties won't have a driver's license office. Eight of those counties are predominantly black and the state's five heaviest Democratic voting counties are included. When I first heard this story, I was very concerned. But Mobile-based political writer Quinn Hillier says further investigation doesn't merit the concern. He knows as reported by News 5 that there are dozens of forms of photo ID that are acceptable at the polls, including a free state-issued voter ID card that remains available at every single county courthouse. They can go to a registrar's office in the exact same town and for free get a photo ID to vote. So it does not make it more difficult to vote, period. That hasn't been the conclusion nationally. The Washington Post writing, in counties with the largest black and largely Democratic-leaning bits of the state's population, it's now going to be a lot harder to obtain and maintain the state identification needed to vote. See the issue? This is not a voting issue. Hillier says the issue is sloppy reporting. The national media jumps on that and pays no attention to the actual facts because it fits their storyline so well. And they love to look down their noses at the South in general, at Alabama in particular. Whether Alabama Republicans meant to do this with as much racial specificity as it seems they did, that I cannot say. But the important question now is whether or not they are going to get away with it. I contacted the writer of the Washington Post article today who said she couldn't comment due to newspaper policy. She did cite, however, numerous studies linking voter ID laws to lower voter turnout.